In this section, I will show you how to write a server action in Odoo 13. So server actions are basically works on the base model and offers the various types of actions that can be executed automatically. So these various actions include executing a Python code, creating a new record, writing on a record and execute several actions. So we normally Commonly, we write uh, the execute Python code method. So, I will demonstrate to you that method here. So, in this example, I am going to uh, write an action to confirm multiple quotations inside the action. So, as you can see, there are two actions here export and delete. I will also add an action. To confirm these purchase orders so let us do that so we are working with the purchase model which is uh, its model is purchase.order so we will write the function for that first so let us inherit purchase order model inherit the model Now uh, let us define the function to confirm multiple quotations. So batch quotation confirm now we will give a condition uh, we will give a loop for each order in self the self here is the purchase order model and we will give a condition so basically we only want to confirm the quotations which are in the RFQ state so let us go to the status field as you can see the field name is state and the selection contains RFQ, RFQ send etc so the selection for the RFQ is called draft so we will set a condition to check if it is draft only then you want to confirm that so we will give that condition if order dot state equal to draft now we want to confirm the so basically normally how we confirm a purchase order is that you just confirm the click on the confirm button so let us look at that and the method is called button confirm so we will call the button confirm fun function in that method so order dot button confirm so that is pretty much it now let us move on to the data part so here in the model we will write ir.actions.server right then we write each field name basically name we give the name as confirm quotations okay then we give the model id And the reference is purchase model id which is 
purchase so model purchase order so that then we write the binding model id Just the same purchase dot model purchase order now let us set the binding view type So binding view types can be list or a form. So if you select the binding view type as a list, we can see only we can see only uh, within tree view. Here you can see the actions here. So if you just select just one record, here also you can see an action and you click that. There is another one called share so you can only see this share in the form view because its binding view type is form so in this case we need list we only need to see the action in list so we will set it as list now we will set the state as said earlier there are four types of uh, actions that can be done in server action and here i am demonstrating the code using python code so i will just write code here and the next field will be code And here what we need is that we need to show that action under this action so what we need to do is that we just write action equal to records here records are the selected records here these selected ones are the records here dot then we call the function to confirm which is batch quotation confirm we will copy that just paste it here don't forget to give the parenthesis and that's pretty much it so now let us uh, check it out if it works or not let us reload okay now let us try and install that application There is some sort of error there. Okay, binding view type. So there is a spelling mistake there. So that's why just give an S here. Let us try it again. Okay, now let us go to the purchase model. 
let's uh, select some uh, records now when we click here you can see a confirm quotations button here In this button we give the server action so let us click that now as you can see we have confirmed these three quotations so this is how you can use the server actions in code thank you